All right, so a lot of you guys have been building uh, Google Forms and uh, as a way to get uh, feedback on the questions that you're curious about. Um, so some of you have noticed that when you go open your Google Form, it actually opens to this kind of a view. This is one of the questions of the week for the Spartan Spotlight. This one was about the new bells. Um, it was just a form that was embedded on SpartanSpotlight.com and we made it in Google and this is what it looks like when you go click on it and open it and it doesn't look at all like your form. So what's going on? Well, the form returns answers in a spreadsheet which allows you to do lots of nice things like keep track of the answers and analyze the answers just to get a quick sense for the percentages of people that gave you various responses. So in or if you want to get back to the form, you just click edit form. Or you can go to the live form and it'll simply pop up another tab. And this was the form that we created about the bells. But if you go to edit the form, it'll be back to the um, editing screen here and allow you to make changes on the fly. It's not a great idea to change a form over time because the summary of responses um, will be kind of impacted by that. So how do you see a summary of responses? I mean, how do you get a quick sense? You could go through and, tall, uh, and tally all this stuff to see how many people like the bells or how many people don't like the bells. It's generally people answered that they didn't like the bells. Um, but there is a quick way to do it. And so uh, to quickly get a sense for the kinds of answers that you're getting is you can go up to the form and then show summary of responses. And it very quickly gives you the percentages, especially if you've asked yes or no questions or multiple choice questions, it'll give you a more complicated pie chart saying that, in fact, do you think they, the bells will reduce the number of uh, people who are late to class? Seven people said no, 57 said, or seven, seven people said yes, 57 people said no. And for uh, percentages, that's uh, yes was 11%, no was 88%. These are the kinds of numbers that I want you to be using. Uh, when you finalize this project. So in your audio recording, you should actually tell me things like this, 11% of people, you should literally say what I'm gonna to say to you now. 11% of people said blank. 88% of people said blank. Um, and then in your website, in your webpage on Simly 910, you can also include these charts. You can take a screenshot of them. Um, there are other more advanced ways to include dynamic charts. And if you're curious about that, I will be more than uh, happy to help you in uh, creating and then incorporating a dynamic chart into your post on Simile 910. So that's just a little bit about how to use uh, Google Forms and the, the answers that you get back from Forms. So do that today. Answer people's questions so they have some data to work with. It's important to do that. Um, and if you have any questions, ask somebody else in class. And if you still have questions, feel free to ask me.